Good morning, good morning, guys. We're back at it again. Uh, we'll try to keep this one short and sweet. So just about two and a half weeks ago, I was working on the house on the scaffolding up on the second level there when we had the bracing up. And a red Model 3, it was a Sunday afternoon, a red Model 3 pulls up to our house. And I'm just standing up there and I'm looking down at the car. The gentleman gets out of the car and starts walking right up to the house. And I just say to him, who the hell are you? And I already had a bit of an idea. And he says to me, I'm subscribed to you on YouTube. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's great. But why are you on my property right now? He proceeded to tell me to quote unquote, just chill, even though I was actually quite chill for someone illegally trespassing on my property. Um, and I'm just like, what are you doing, man? Like, what are you doing here? He then proceeded to tell me that I was treating my subscribers poorly um, because he was illegally trespassing and I wasn't happy about it. He also then managed to mumble this as well. He said up to me, he's like, you don't even know who I am. And that's not even a, an exaggeration. And then he also proceeded to tell me to fuck off. And I was like, this is a new one. This is gonna make a great YouTube video. <laughs> so one of my subscribers figures out where I live, which I've never publicly released my address. So if you know where we live, um, based on any of the drone footage or any of the shots that I've taken, that means that you have found out where we live through Google Maps, Google Earth, or something to that effect, which I would say for anyone who has figured out where we live um, or has searched for where we live, you need a hobby. You need something else to do with your life because that just sounds kind of creepy that you're trying to figure out where people live that you follow on YouTube. So here's the deal. Han and I, we have been more than open with our lifestyle, how we live. Um, we've produced like, I think 19 or 20 podcast episodes, which we talk very much in depth um, about how we live, how we think. Um, we've been very open and honest about everything that we do. Now, just because we post videos to YouTube and that we are open and honest and we appear to be nice people, which we are, um, that is not an open invitation to just fucking pop on over whenever you're in our area. First and foremost, like I said, I've never publicly released our address. I know people have figured out where we live and that's fine. If that's how you want to spend your day, have at it. I don't even let my neighbors or my friends just pop on over. It's the most disrespectful shit to me is when someone just pops on over to your house, unannounced. Not to mention, it's creepy as fuck when a stranger that follows you on YouTube just pops on over to your house. Now here's the thing, I don't have to be nice to someone who is criminally trespassing on my property, okay? I don't have to be nice. So don't make an excuse for someone or say that I should have been nice to someone, which I actually wasn't, I wasn't mean. I was just more inquiring as to what the fuck are you doing on my property and driving up to my house here? And unfortunately, 99.99% of you are critical, logical, decent people who have a brain between your ears there, that thing up there, and you would think and just be like, that would be some highly disrespectful and creepy ass shit. And you would be correct with that assessment. But unfortunately, there's 0.001% of people that don't know how to use this thing between their ears. Now, here's the deal. If you see me at Home Depot, you see me at Lowe's, you see me in Tucson somewhere, I'd be more than happy to sit down, chat with you, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever it is, right? Like if you see me out in public, I'm the, I'm the nicest guy ever. There's a boundary though. The boundary, that's our property lines. You do not cross those property lines. This is personal property. If you step foot onto this property or even the road out in front of our house, which we technically own uh, with the easement, you are trespassing. Next person who shows up completely unannounced, pops over, I will be recording you, I will be getting any information about who you are and I will be reporting you to the sheriff. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, geez, Derek, this has only happened once. You'd be incorrect with that assessment. This is the third time that this has happened. 
So the last two times that it's happened were a couple years ago. So it just hadn't happened for a long time. And so I never made a video talking about it because, you know, there's just some oddball people out there and it is what it is. I hope I've made myself clear. Um, don't do creepy shit. One guy, and this is another instance, one guy was leaving post-it notes on my mailbox and was like, oh, hey, I'm in the area with my son. Uh, we, we'd love to meet you. Ding dong, that is creepy as fuck. There are the proper ways of doing things, but then there are the creepy way of doing things, like leaving post-it notes on my mailbox. Not cool. Don't send me an email or a message saying, oh, hey, I figured out where you live. Congratulations. I'm not gonna respond to you. You sound like a creepy mofo. The reason why we live out here where we live is because we don't wanna be bothered. My time is valuable, and when somebody pops over and is like, oh, hey, here I am. Like, I, I follow you on YouTube. I don't care. That's great. I'm glad that you follow me on YouTube. That's not an invitation to just pop on over. Like, what the fuck? Now, this same shit has happened to YouTubers. I know specifically, like, PewDiePie it's happened to. It's happened to Jenna Marbles. If you were ever thinking of just being like, oh, I'm in the Benson area. I'm just gonna pop on over to Derek's place and see what he's doing. I'm sure he's just gonna be so fucking happy that I just popped on over completely unannounced. No, I'm not gonna be happy because you're not respecting my time and you're not respecting our personal space. Hannah and I both really appreciate that so many people love and enjoy our videos, but don't show up to our property. It's weird. Most people in Arizona have protection. All of our neighbors have protection. I've got the sheriff on speed dial. Don't do something stupid, okay? Don't do it. What, what, what would you think that I'm gonna do? Be like, oh hey, hey random stranger from YouTube, just come right on into my house. Right on, just come on in. I mean, like, like think. Use this thing right up here, okay? If you use this thing right up here, it's gonna get you a lot further in life because if you're criminally trespassing, it might not turn out to be a great thing for you. Awesome guys, um, the only thing that I haven't done so far to prevent idiots from like this driving up to our house is I haven't put a gate up yet. The reason why I haven't put a gate, gate up yet is because I wanted to tie the design of the gate into the house, but the house is being built right now, so the gate will be built afterwards. At that point there, hopefully people won't just randomly drive up to our house or up to our property, but that still does not excuse basically completely moronic and idiotic behavior from a very few percent aisle of the people that are watching this channel. Anyways, guys, we'll be back at it very soon. Got to work on the underground slumming, <laughs> slumming, plumbing, and then um, we'll work on the slab. I'm slightly dyslexic at times. Awesome, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Talk to you soon.